Well, taking on the locals, U.S. convenience store 7-Eleven is heading to India. It will be brought in by Asia's richest man, Mukesh Abani. His company, Reliance Retail, secured the pack just days after supermarket operator Future Retail terminated its own agreement with 7-Eleven. The first store will be launched in Mumbai this weekend. The deal marks the latest by the Reliance conglomerate to rapidly expand its retail and e-commerce business. But as Rebecca Abundant reports the move could trigger opposition from local retailers. Of course, India has this retail market that's worth almost $1 trillion and it's only expected to grow over the coming years as the economy expands, as middle class incomes rise. Everyone really wants a piece of this market and it's been quite challenging for, for foreign companies to actually enter and do business here in many cases and, and they have been met with protests on some occasions even. But with 7-Eleven, we have to wait and see really what happens when the stores start to roll out because although there doesn't seem to have been major opposition yet, there will certainly be a lot of people that won't be happy with this move. In particular, the local, what are known as Karana stores, those are the, like, the small grocery stores, mum and pop shops that are run locally and these are ubiquitous across India. They're a major part of the, the retail economy here which is quite unorganised still generally. And those are the little businesses that will suffer as a result of this rollout. So there may be some opposition from them. But at the same time, India has been very much focused on attracting more foreign direct investment, Oh, this would help uh, Reliance to compete with the likes of Amazon, Walmart. Also, that's seen as a, a significant step in that direction, which could ultimately help India in terms of generating jobs as well. So there are the positives and the, the negatives, but we'll have to wait to see exactly the kind of impact it has on those local businesses.